Hi. If you like finding trash on the corner and phrases like, ooh, that piece has a nice silhouette, you're gonna love today's episode. Welcome to Laugh Cry DIY, the show where I'm really sweaty, even though this is only the intro. People, we are back in the murder cave, as you can see, which means we have a big project coming up today. So the other day I was walking down the street in my neighborhood and I stopped because I saw a hottie sitting on the curb. And it was not John Hamm, but it was a beautiful piece of Mad Men mid-century era furniture. She was in perfect working condition. She had her handles, she had her doors, everything worked fine. Now she had definitely been through a few divorces and bankruptcies, but unfortunately someone had tried to give her a glow up a while back with some red mahogany lacquer or something. But underneath that really bad lacquer job, which is already chipping off, is a beautiful walnut veneer. And I have been waiting for a moment like this. Today we finally get to do a full teen movie makeover moment. We are gonna do a full furniture restoration and we're gonna flip her to make some cash. There's only one catch. I've never done a furniture restoration. You guys are gonna follow me start to finish while I try to do this and not cut off my hand or burn my skin off or call an ex-boyfriend to help. Ooh, she's backlit. What's fun about today's project is that we are starting it with a moment of hell because I forgot my headphones. So, it's just gonna be me and the birds taking off the hardware. She's beautiful, I mean, look at the shape. Glamour, elegance, fame. All right, we're about five minutes into the project and it looks like two of the screws that are keeping this door on um, are possibly stripped, which means that the little metal, you know, the little X at the top, um, that's all messed up. I've tried smaller and smaller sizes of screwdriver heads and they're not coming out. It's only been 30 minutes of trying to get this screw out. Here I thought stripping this whole thing with toxic paint stripper, um, Thought that would be the hardest part you know i thought doing the sanding would be the hardest part but two screws two screws i guess next time you pick up trash check the screws it's been an hour uh i think that this might be the first official cry of my channel so i had to go and i had to get a screw extractor which means i have to drill into the screws with this and i have to thread this into it I have to extract it out. Oh my God. This is not going in. Well, while we wait for my drill to recharge, we can at least start cleaning this disgusting piece. This is live footage of me hating my life. Well, at least, you know, God strips one screw and he gives you better lighting. We are going to test paint stripper on, on one drawer, specifically citrus strip, the less toxic of the very toxic paint strippers. Okay, major safety first with this one. Put your gloves on, put your goggles on, make sure you are in a very, very well ventilated area. You're gonna pour it in a container and then just do a thick coating on the area you want stripped. You wanna make sure it's on thick and that it doesn't get dried out because then it will not work. To make it even more effective, you can cover it in plastic wrap and that makes sure the strip really settles in. Good news is that the paint stripper is working incredibly. The bad news is I'm still trying to deal with this screw. I had to switch to my stepdad's old school drill, but I can't even get it in the extension cord. This has a lot of torque, but um, I don't think it's supposed to be in that short. Okay, I'm making absolutely no progress. Sorry guys, I had to call my ex. Okay, the new approach to the screw is that we are going to grind the heads off and then take the hinge off and the screws will be sticking out without heads and then I will plier them out. 
and I have to use a grinder and I am absolutely terrified. Don't touch I'm it, not. start it first. No, 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 I know. I just want to make sure I like can... The birth of my first child will mean nothing compared to this moment. We got it off. Now we can just go like this with these pliers. So we ground all that down and I still can't get it out. At least we can finish paint stripping the doors. It is the next morning. I have had time to recenter and regroup and reaffirm my intentions for this piece. And the screws are still not out, but I do need to place a boundary between them and me for the moment. And today's goal is to strip the entire piece of lacquer. And last night I coated everything in paint stripper and I saran wrapped it like a body. So hopefully this morning, when we go to take it off, it will be like effortless and easy. And we are taking a plastic putty knife. You don't want to do a metal one because it can nick and ding the wood. We're gonna turn our attention to a more glamorous makeover of the hardware. So as you can see, this hardware is beautiful, incredible shape, and I'm so dumb that I thought I would spray paint it gold, and then my dear friends told me that no dummy, it's actual real brass, so restore the brass. So that's what we're gonna do. wait for it to cool, and then time to wire brush and scrub. We have finally made it to sand day. Katie, what are we gonna use to sand this with today? An orbital sander. If you want a hot body, if you want a Bulgatti, you gotta sand, bitch. Now, before we start sanding, somebody else is sanding, trying to one-up me. My friend Mark taught me this trick. If you're gonna work with a power tool and you're plugging it into an extension cord, loop it and then plug it. That way, when you're practicing your hip-hop moves while sanding or sawing, you won't trip and disconnect your tool. So we are gonna start with 120 grit sandpaper. See, we still have splotching from the stripper and other things, and we want this to be all the one uniform color so that we can stain it beautifully and seal it and then flip it. So we're just gonna do simple passes. Don't put pressure on it because that's when you get weird rings and you make it uneven. Just let, you know, Bernie Sanders do its work. Bernadette, let's be inclusive. So I'm gonna wear a respirator and protective eyewear because there's gonna be dust everywhere. Hot boy summer, gotta get swole. Day three, four, whatever, back to sanding. Since these have round edges, um, I'm going in just straight up by hand because a sanding block won't work. I've been sanding by hand for um, upwards of three minutes. Guess what time it is? More sanding time. 
Uh, I'm so sick of sanding. I am not leaving this garage until I am done. I'm wearing my Mariah Carey tank top. See episode link because I am obsessed with getting this done because getting this done would be my fantasy. This piece originally had a top cabinet to it and therefore it has left these really long grooves in the top of the piece. I could do like an inlaid wood piece, but it's just, it's too much trouble. I can't deal with it. So we're just gonna do wood filler. Now, lest we forget, the demon screws are still living in their demon hell home, but I brought every tool I have. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. So I'm basically just trying to kind of chisel around this to try to get enough of the head out that I can get some pliers on it. We got one almost all the way out. The answer was a pair of vice grip pliers. The way these work is you tighten them and then when you clamp them, they vice grip it. Oh God, please don't break off. I'm gonna cry. Oh my God, it's happening. Can we switch to hand pliers? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. This is Instagram versus reality. Do you see? Of course, because we had to destroy that hinge and screw to get all of that off. I'm going back now to try to find this exact size. Please tell me that this is not a size that they stopped making in 1958. Breaking news, they don't make that type of hinge anymore. So I got a shorter one, but it still should fit within the confines of the doors. Second coat of wood filler time. God, I feel so alive. I'm not even gonna wear gloves. See how it looks there, filling in nicely. And now back to sanding. The moment we've been waiting for. 220, baby. Oh, look how beautiful. Now we're gonna take Bear's water-based pre-stained wood conditioner, and that helps the pores open and it helps the beauty and glamour seep in when you do the stain. Ugh, you see that grain? Beautiful. Now it is time for the moment we have been waiting for. We have chosen an antique walnut, satin, bare, water-based stain and poly in one because everyone in LA is poly now. It looks like rich milk chocolate. It looks like a Dove commercial. Try it on the back of it first. That is the back of it. Okay. Yeah. Great idea. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Working quickly. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. This is way harder than it looks, people. Wait, why is this sticky? Well, friends, it's a new day. I tried water-based stain, and it didn't seem to be going on that well. But I got a few tips from some pros, so I'm gonna stir it more. I'm gonna use a brush, and I'm gonna pray to all of the gods. Ugh. I think my big mistakes last time were that I didn't stir this enough and that I didn't use a brush. I have my eyes shut, not because it's sunny, but just I'm in pain from this project. Do you guys remember that Elizabeth Taylor or somebody, there's some starlet who had a book called My Love Affair with Jewelry. I'm gonna publish one that's um, My Love Affair with Stains. Do you know what day it is? It's we're finishing this mother in peace today. All I have to do is put on a final coat of polyurethane. All right, we're back to putting in the demonic hardware. Will it work? Dear God. Oh, 
I can't believe I get to say these words. We are freaking done. So finally, here is your big reveal. Alrighty, it's a new day. We're not sweaty, but we are. $225 richer because I just sold the piece. Now, $225 is actually quite cheap for me to sell that for, but I needed to get it out of my mom's house. For my first furniture flip piece, I'm happy. So if you guys were inspired, if you liked this video, if you'd like to watch me suffer through more furniture flips, make sure to like and subscribe. And until then, I'll just be sitting here with my money fam. Don't rob me.